And now to a story on just one station, a man's night out at a bar ending in a nightmare after he says he was drugged and robbed. Seven's Nicole Insalata has the exclusive. I had a good friend of mine uh, from Ohio actually come in town. You know, the plan was for us to, um, to hit a couple bars in the area. So this Nova Southeastern University dental student who asked not to be identified took his friend to the wharf in Fort Lauderdale the night of May 7th. Although he says they met up with some fellow students, nothing seemed out of the ordinary until everything became a blur. At some point in the night, someone was pointing me towards an Uber. Somehow separated from his friend, he got in. Two women he says he's never seen before in the front seat. Looking back, he thinks someone booked an Uber on his phone but canceled it. But now the women had his address and his phone. They knew my name. They knew where I was headed back home. I just started to notice they were saying pretty strange things. It seemed like they were sort of talking about me rather than to me. He says he remembers the woman in the front passenger seat climbing to the back seat, unzipping his pants and exposing him. Once the women dropped him at his plantation apartment, he says that woman followed him inside. Once I sort of like woke up or came to, I got like an adrenaline rush. I was like, you need to leave. I was more so just thinking, wow, like I just got molested in my Uber home. That was awful. I'll probably keep that secret till I die. But it wouldn't be that easy. His phone was gone. He later learned all his passwords changed. Thousands of dollars drained from several of his payment sharing apps. In fact, his bank now shows a balance of negative $499,441.17. He spent weeks trying to access his own accounts. Just this weekend, three women victimized a Delray Beach man, also unlocking that man's phone and stealing thousands of dollars. The Nova student says that encouraged him to tell his story. I really do think this is the new crime wave. You know, people my age aren't carrying over $40 in our wallet. That's not what they're after. The, the most expensive thing we're carrying on ourselves nowadays is our phone and the password. Nicole Linsalata, 7 News.